Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I've got another really fun interactive card to share with you. I actually created this last December for my nephew's birthday, but with the rush of Christmas and all of the Christmas cards, I just had not gotten around to doing the voiceover until now. So I'm using the Lawn Fawn Your Clawsome Stamp and Die Set. And I've lined up the uh, claw and a couple of teddy bears as well as the full machine. I'm going to stamp this out using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm going to do that twice because I'm going to do a little bit of layering. And I'm going to create a little mechanism to have that claw move inside the machine. So I'm stamping this out twice here. And now I'm going to go ahead and color this in with my Copic markers. Now I am just using um, the straight color from the markers here and not doing any blending because these are really small uh, little bears. But I did want to show you how I colored everything. So because I'm going to layer this, I only need to color the bears on one of the layers and then I'm coloring all of the other outside images on the top layer. And this will make more sense as I start putting everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and trim all of these out. And then at this point I realized that I needed to color that tube in the background on the same one as the bears. Um, but that worked out well because I thought the other one had too much blue, so sort of a happy accident. Now I'm going to trim out the window from the top of the sandwich that's going to create this machine. So I'm just using my uh, fingertip craft knife and I'm going to go around all four edges of the window with the prizes in it. So now you can sort of see a little bit better how those two are going to fit together. I'm grabbing some score tape and I'm going to place that all the way around that opening. And here I'm taking some eighth inch score tape. Those side sections are very, very thin. So I'm actually trimming this down as best as I can in half. And then I'm going to run that along the sides of the open window. Then I'm going to peel away that backing and I'll place some acetate behind the window. Then I'll go ahead and just trim away that excess. Okay, so now I'm going to create the little mechanism that's going to allow that claw to move back and forth. So I'm going to use a brad here and I'm going to grab my a piercing tool from We Are Memory Keepers. I'm going to go straight down through both layers of the claw and the machine. And then here off camera I've taken a piece of Nina Solar White and I just went ahead and used some more of that blue or teal colored Copic marker and then trimmed that into a little stem to add to the claw. So there I'm attaching the bear to the claw and I'm just going to add a little bit of score tape here at the back and I'm going to leave the backing on that so that it's not going to get stuck on anything, but that's going to help attach the bear to the claw. And then I'm going to peel away the score tape backing across the top of the claw part. I'm going to add on that little stem of the teal cardstock that I created. Thank you. 
Next, I'll go ahead and place the brad through both of those layers. And then I'll close that off in the back there. And that will allow my claw to move back and forth. So I'm going to use one layer of foam tape just to give this a little bit more dimension. And I've grabbed my eighth inch score tape. So I want to be careful at the top here. I want to leave an opening so that I'm able to move the claw back and forth. And then once I get that down, I'll double check that here and you'll see I'll take a little bit more off of one edge just to give myself a little bit more room. And then I'll go ahead and finish off that layer of foam tape across the entire back of this. I did decide that even though it was sticking out just slightly where the window is, I didn't want to trim this down to any less than eighth of an inch just so that my sides of the machine were nice and sturdy. I've gone ahead and added score tape to the entire back of the bottom layer of the machine. And here I'm adding in just a little bit of art glitter glue. I want to make sure this stays nice and stuck down. I'm going to place that on the front of my card base. And this card base is made from MFT's Sour Apple cardstock. And then I'll peel away the backing from my foam tape and I'll add this layer on top. I didn't want to have the top of that sticking over the edge of the card, so I'm just going to trim my stem down slightly. And there's my working claw. For the inside, I'm working on a Nina panel trimmed to 4 by 5 and a quarter. I'm going to stamp out the sentiment, have a clawsome birthday. Again, using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'll go ahead and add some ATG to the back of that and place it on the inside of my card base. Then I'm going to grab one of the extra claws and bears and I'm going to add that right next to the sentiment. So I'll add a little bit of that art glitter glue there and then I'll go ahead and place the bear down. Or add the bear. And then I'll put a little more glue on the back of the bear and stick that down next to the sentiment. And that will complete my Clawsome card. Here are a few close-ups of the finished card. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. Remember to leave me a comment below so you can be entered in the March Madness giveaway. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.